0.93 ERA. That's the lowest in Rock's history for a starter in his first two starts. And for Noah Davis, it's a fastball. He will cut that fastball, though, too. So that's a combination of the four-seamer and the cutter, the slider, changeup, curveball. And Josh Rojas is in the leadoff spot playing second base. Rojas drives this deep to right center field. Josh Rojas gets into this one. It's off the wall. That fencing in front of the bullpen. And Rojas has a leadoff double. Here is Corbin Carroll. Corbin rolls it into right center. This will get Rojas home. Corbin Carroll making an eight-game hitting streak and an early Diamondbacks lead. Stay hot. Wow. It's a well-struck ground ball that finds that hole toward the middle of the field that time. And the D-backs jump off to an early lead. Here's the one-two. Runner is going, and Diaz will throw it down. Tag not in time. So 11 stolen bases now for Corbin Carroll. And it looks like the Rockies are going to challenge, yeah. but Black wants to go to the headset. After review, the call on the field is overturned. Nice. The runner is out. Great call. The by the the Black and crew. Jimmy Hartley. And the bases are full for Jose Herrera. He's walked in a run. Herrera gets the RBI. A terrific plate appearance right there. And it's 2 nothing D back. Rojas doubled and scored to lead off the ball game. Josh, base hit. Rivera's home. They're going to wave Alec Thomas. Gritchick's throw is cut off. It's a big crooked number for the Diamondbacks. They lead it 4 0. Perdomo flied out on the first pitch he saw back in the third. Geraldo Perdomo hits a fly ball to right field, and there it goes. Geraldo Perdomo. 7 0 Diamondbacks. The second of the year for Perdomo. Ryan McMahon hitting cleanup tonight will lead off. Ryan McMahon, that'll be a fair ball. So, Matt kicking it off. He's going to go for extra bases. Lead off double. Seventh double of the season for Mack. Rockies on first and second with Trejo coming up. The pitch to Trejo. And he hits that to right center field. On the move is Smith. He is not going to get there. And the run will score. McMahon scores, heading to third base, and holding there is Doyle. That's a bloop single and an RBI for Alan Trejo, and the Rockies are on the board. One nothing, I'm sorry, seven to one, Rockies trail. Rookie right-hander Connor Seabold on for his seventh appearance. Emmanuel Rivera's hot streak continues. He singled and scored in that six-run second. Boy, it just keeps on coming for Emmanuel Rivera. The ball gets behind Doyle and rolls to the wall, and Rivera's at second. That went right through the rookie center fielder. Rivera just hitting everything right off the barrel. Line drive toward the gap in right center. Doyle's made some really nice plays in this series already. This is not one of them, however. And the 3-2 pitch again. Swing and a miss. He got him to chase that high fastball. He gets the strikeout for out number two, and here comes the number nine hitter. The pitch. Strike three called. It caught the outside corner. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Connor Siebold after that single and an air put a runner at second. Perdomo might not have two hits, but he's got three RBIs. That one squirts by Crone. Boy, C.J. Crone just one sidestep to his right there, and the ball got by him. That brings Walker to the plate. That one will roll by Tovar into left center. Perdomo coming home. The RBI for Walker. And it's 8-1. to one. When they get to a two-strike count, we know Christian Walker's a big-time power hitter, but he just put the bat on the ball, a little grounder in the hole up the middle of the field to drive home another D-backs run. Alan Trejo knocked in the Rockies' run with a single back in the second inning. Oh, boy! Emmanuel Rivera with a beauty. Yeah, he doesn't want you to think he's just an offensive player. Made a nice diving stop, taking extra bases away right there. Tovar, a little chop back to Henry to end the second inning. 1-1, one, one. and stay fair it does. Ezekiel Tovar is going to head for extra bases. He's going to go to third. Triple for Tovar. That's his first triple. You go a little fastball, down and away, stays behind the baseball in the Subaru Supermo, sneaks it inside the line. And Really, you know how difficult this corner can be. Now Charlie Blackman, who was popped up twice. Well, sometimes guts is enough. Alec Thomas in center. Tovar coming home. Here's the yeah. play. And they got him.
him at the plate. Alec Thomas in shallow center throws out Ezekiel Tovar for the double play to end the fifth. Jose Herrera set to lead off the sixth inning. It's eight to one Diamondbacks here at Coors. That's a fair ball up the line for Herrera. Bryant plays the carom and Jose has a leadoff double. Right down that first base stripe after tagging the runner out at home plate on the previous half inning. That has to feel good for Jose Herrera. Boy, Geraldo Perdomo. He has homered. He's singled. He scored twice. He's knocked in three runs. Perdomo punches it through. He's done it again. Geraldo Perdomo. That's four RBIs and it's nine to one. The same final score as last night. Next hitter Elias Diaz for the Rockies. He has gone 0 for two. He has struck out and grounded a short. Big wind up in the pitch, and there's a ground ball left side. That's through the hole in the left field. It's a base hit. And Elias Diaz with a one-out single, and for the Rockies, just their fifth hit tonight. We have Ryan McMahon double and a strikeout on the day, and it's like he's going for more extra bases. Can this leave the park at the wall? It'll stay in, and Diaz will truck towards third. He's getting waved home, and McMahon driving in a run with the double. The big news is Corbin Carroll down. Out in left field. Great for Mac to drive it that far. But that was a scary collision out with the wall out there. And thankfully, Corbin is up and walking off. Lourdes Scurriel Jr. coming out to take over in left field. CJ Crone is going 0 for 2. He's popped out this short, rounded to third. 75th pitch of the day, and CJ Crone out to left center field. That'll hit off the wall. Here comes McMahon around third. He's heading home, and C.J. Crone with an RBI double. He's almost in the same spot as Max, maybe a little further or closer to center field. His 12th RBI of the season. So now Alec Thomas leads off the eighth. Alec Thomas hears oh, it, dunks it into left center. Doyle able to cut it off. Alec headed for second, and he's in there with a double. Second hit tonight for Alec Thomas. Herrera, who bats tonight, he's got a bases loaded walk and a double in the sixth. Jose lines it to right. Bryant in pursuit. He won't get there. It's off the wall. Alec Thomas will round third. Herrera's in at second with an RBI double, and it's 10 to 4. Nice. I mean, even if that ball's caught out there in right field, it's going to allow Alec Thomas to move up to third base. But Christian Walker two up to lead off the ninth inning. Here's the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. It's out to left, going back Gritchick at the track, at the wall, out of room. Solo shot for Walker. Number four on the season. And it's now 11 for Diamondbacks. The way the ball carries here, it just kept going and going and going, never came down, and Gritchick just runs out of room. Ezekiel Tovar, the rookie shortstop, last man standing. He tripled in the fifth, one for three. Gurriel is in left, and he makes a nice sliding grab to put a period on this one. Diamondbacks 9-1 winners last night. They take game 2-11-4, and they'll hand the ball to Ryan Nelson tomorrow and look for the three-game sweep.